Christian O'Connor drives off for Britain in the final day of the Ryder Cup match. Up against men like America's Ed Fergal, even if all their putts don't come off, nobody gives the British team under skipper Di Reese much of a chance. After all, it's 24 years since we won the Ryder Cup, and Britain, or more correctly, Great Britain and Era, start the singles 3-1 down. Here's America's Doug Ford. But American skipper Jackie Burke and his team, normally brilliant golfers, find the pace too hot, while the British players, including Burke's opponent Peter Mills in his first ever Ryder Cup match, are playing like champions. Hole by hole, the pattern of victory emerges. Britain's Harry Bradshaw has a tough battle with Dick Mayer, but in the end, he manages to halve his match in spite of some bad luck on the greens. The Americans capture a single game, but one by one, all the other Britons force their way into the lead. At the 12th green, Dyre sinks his last putt to beat Ed Fergal, seven up and six to play. The crowd scrambles for a ball that deserves to be in a glass case on somebody's mantelpiece. A souvenir of an historic day, when by seven and a half points to four and a half, Di Reese and his merry men put an end to nearly a quarter of a century of defeat. Says Di, it must be the greatest shot in the arm British golf has ever had. 